All right. Thank you so much uh, for this opportunity to talk about what we do basically at NEPAT. I do agree with what um, the previous speakers have spoken regarding uh, the policies that, that are in the countries. It's true there is really need for the review of those policies uh, to ensure that what is happening on the ground is really accommodated. Yeah, mm -hmm. and in this case, um, I just wanted to talk about our smallholder farmers. Uh, within the NEPAD um, environment, we have this program that we call the Gender Climate Change and Agriculture Support Program. And on, in that program, we have really looked at addressing these issues of policies such that we have an intervention area where we ensure that we are closing policy and institutional gaps through the mainstreaming of gender, through the coordination mechanisms, et cetera, et cetera. So I do agree, and we have done so much uh, with, uh, within this program. We have not only looked at the issues of policy, we have looked at issues of capacity building, uh, and the trainings for various climate smart agriculture and as well as other areas. We have also uh, uh, done projects, different projects, like we have had 20 projects in five participating countries of this program. And these projects are basically they are on climate smart agriculture practices and technologies. And also, we have not just looked at that um, because that is basically concerning um, the production part of things, but we have also looked at the agribusiness side of things. For instance, we have a continental platform, which we call the Conference for Women in Agribusiness, where we have actually delivered some policy dialogues there, where women talk, discuss the issues at hand, and then raise recommendations that are taken up. We have done trainings in those um, platforms. We have done exhibitions. We have done field visits. So we have supported women from the production side up to the whole, basically it's the whole value chain, which is something that we have done. And we have even produced some knowledge products. That's something that we call the catalog for women in agribusiness, where we are continually helping to showcase these women, network them, to potential buyers, funders, investors, partners, et cetera, and including policymakers. And apart from that, we have also strengthened existing platforms for women and ensuring that we are establishing women platforms where they never existed. So we have done those things at AUD and APAD just to ensure that we are supporting women smallholder farmers and women in agribusiness in the face of climate change. Uh, I will ask uh, Edna to go first, and uh, uh, if she has one or two messages that she wants to provide with us, uh, uh, based on what she has heard, what would be the one or two recommendations uh, she, uh, she can suggest? Miss Edna, you have the floor. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Um... I just wanted to talk uh, something regarding women smallholder farmers. Mm -hmm. um, it's clear that it's not a secret and it's not a cliche that women need to be supported in their various economic endeavors. So women economic uh, participation and empowerment is a top priority and it cannot be ignored. So if we are to reduce poverty, promote sustainable and inclusive development, women must be viewed as actors and the necessary change agents, you know? So we have to have that consented a deliberate effort made to address issues of policies, the barriers, the unequal nature of economic market structures, the financial systems that actually restrict women's economic opportunities. Uh, that said, I would like to mention two things that um, I find critical as I have been working with women on the program that AUD and APAT is, is delivering. Uh, the main point is that we need resources, particularly those climate financial resources, they are key because you can plan, you can do everything, but if the resources are not there, nothing will happen. So on the climate change side, 
uh, there is need for our women to be aware of the financial instruments that are available. I heard Mr. George um, Namkoya talking about financial instruments and also our other speaker. This is important and uh, women should not be left behind. They need to know them and be able to, they should be capacitated to access them. That's one. Mm -hmm. The second one is on the business side and trade. Um, my, my director, um, Mr. Amin, mentioned something about the African continent of free trade area. This is very key also for women in agribusiness. So that will actually help and women need to be fully aware of this and be able to make use of it. Thank you very much.